let's get to what we all really want to get to, which is how to match the color of a leaf out in nature. I have this leaf sitting underneath them acetate, and I'm going to mix these colors to try to match it. All right, so I'm going to start with this nice yellow lake and ultramarine blue to go right at a nice, nice solid green. What we're going to find, however, is this green is going to be a little chromatic uh, for what we really need on this leaf. All right. Now, matching colors in nature is one of the most important aspects of painting. I go over it in detail on my Patreon page, which you can see at the link above. Now, here we go. This is our first out of the shoot. Try to matching of that color. Looks pretty good, right? It's a little dark. It's a little dark. So let's let's lighten it up. A little bit of white. And what happens when we go to the white? What happens when you lighten a color with white? It goes more warm, uh, more cool. It gets, goes bluer. So I'm going to come over in the bluer section of that painting. I'm sorry, of that leaf. Now that's pretty close. It's a little, a little light now. So now we get the best of two worlds. Mix it together. All right. Here we go. Now we're right in the middle value range when I combine those two. Let's see what we have going on on the leaf. That's a pretty good match. Now what happens though right here? In live, when you look at it live, the match is a little dull. It might not come across clearly on the screen as dull. So I want to add in a little burnt sienna to liven up the color and give some subtlety to the leaf. Because here live, you'll see some uh, warmth in that leaf that isn't a yellow warmth. And when I put it in here, let's see what it looks like. Now it's starting to look a little more like the leaf. Again, still too cool. All right, I need to add the yellow back in. Yellow and burnt sienna. Kind of counterintuitive to add the burnt sienna, I know. But when you do this over many years, you'll find that that burnt sienna is a wonderful tool to getting your, your greens really close to nature because nature always sneaks in these little browns and stuff in the middle of everything when you don't see it. All right, so that's how you want to approach uh, getting a leaf color out in nature. You want to start with getting the main uh, value range and then modulate the hue warmer, cooler, or more yellow, more brown, more blue until it comes up to something, something like this. All right, look at that. It's looking really good. More chroma needed though. More chroma, more of the yellow. Gonna mix it in there. Now we're talking. All right, so that yellow lake really, really does us some good service here on this leaf. There you go. Now let's see what happens when you dumb it down with a little bit of red. All right. Just right out of the bait. A little bit of experimenting going on here. Okay. You always want to try a little bit of experiments here and there. Once you've got the color nailed, that looks good. Also, 